I'm Tim from Timco Fishing and I'd like to share how to spool up a large over reel, a 50 pound backing and a 12 weight tarp on line. The problem is how do you know how much of this to run on before you've either got too much or too little. So I'll show you a few tricks that we've developed over time just with standard stuff and easy way how to do it. So this is a line winder, just a normal line winder that I got from Cabela's. So we simply fit the reel in there. I've got a line winder that counts in metres. And then to be able to run the line on, I've got a, it's just an aluminium line winder. But the trick in this is obviously how to get the backing on. So what I've done is just put the, the backing roll on, it's made of, just with a screwdriver and a backup system. I then run the line around, around the line winder. And then I tie that onto the reel. Just tie the line on. I just use the uni knot here, which is the best one I find for tying it on. Now obviously to wind on two or three hundred metres of line is going to take forever. So I've made a thing here that fits on my electric drill, which simply fits into the arbour itself. And then I can control this just by running it on. I've got a brake on the line right there. And what I'm now doing is just feeding this on slowly. And the bit we learned from our marlin reels, which is you just do a few crosses every now and then. It's a big feature to pull it down into the reel. Now the question is, how much line do we run on here before we actually find that we've actually got too much or too little of the backing? So the trick on this now is to actually run the line on as well and then keep filling it up with the backing and then once you've got enough and the, the spool is completely full, cut the backing, you've got to pull that bit out until you get the line off and then rewind. It's a bit of mucking about but at least you know the spool is full. And then what we do now, we just run the two lines on until it fills the spool up. And there's the end of the line, so now what we do is just run backing on until... Okay, so now the spool is completely full, and oh, we have got on 300 metres of backing. To finish this now, what I do is I tie a, a limited twist in here. So I do 30. Run that up to the tight, let it run back against itself. Put one half hitch in to hold it together. And then I always finish off with a risotto knot. Do seven around. Hold the tag and then unwind back against the tag. Pull it through and then that gives you a really nice tight knot. The real issue is now if you try and loop this back onto the main line, this will actually so fine that if you get a big fish on it will actually pull in and bite it. And it's almost impossible to get it off. So I'm going to use on this one here 50 pound goodie braid, make a loop and then actually loop that back here onto the double. So what we do, we feed the wire, double over wire, feed it up inside the goodie braid. Poke it through and then take the other end 
and just put a, a small amount in and then pull that back down in through the other piece so you've now got one leg inside the other leave the loop big enough to be able to put the reel through then feed the wire back through the inside part of the goodie braid touch now down inside the two push the double the double over wire out open it up take then your the end of your bimini twist put it inside the wire and then pull it through so it's now inside the, the two pieces of the goodie braid pull through a loop now what we do we just make a cat's paw so we just loop over each over itself I usually do it five times we use these on marlin rigs make sure everything is even and then you just pull it down snug it up tight and that can't possibly let go and then what I do I whip finish the end of it So now you've got the double up inside the goody braid with a knot, with a loop. You've got a loop that can now down in through the double inside the goody braid that can now go onto the main line. So when you want to actually change main lines, you've now got something you can undo. This one here will bite in that tight, you'll never get it apart and you'll have to cut it. So now what I do, I simply unwind the double back off the reel. Reverse with drill, put this in. The drill, reverse it, and now then we'll wind it back on. So now we simply wind all the backing back off the reel until we get the main line off. And then you just, this is a fiddly bit, but you've just got to wind the backing off until you get all the fly line off. Okay, now all we now have to do, you can see how much backing that we wouldn't have put on if we had to try to guess. So now we just run this on. So now we've run the line on. We've now got, we've now got the, the end of the double with the goodie braid. So now then to put the line on, what we simply do is take the, take the end of the line, trust these welded loops, you can only hope they work, over the reel, so now it's just a bit fiddly but you now just run the line on. So there we have it now, we have a full reel, complete with backing and the line which I've run on fairly loose there now because it was tight before but obviously with the fish on that's going to tighten down. I've got exactly the right amount of backing, I've got my line on and I'm now ready to go and off to catch the big tarpon.